Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, man. I'm sitting in the boat working on tackle, actually tying baits on for myself for the first week of February. But you know what time it is. It's the top three baits for the month of February. Last month we did top three baits and I'm mailing out boxes like this. I love giving this stuff away to you. I've got the, your baits in there, and let's just go ahead and name last month's winners just to get that off the plate. I love giving this stuff away. And you might be asking, well, how can I win? All you gotta do is just be a subscriber, leave me a comment. My camera guy randomly goes through there, picks some winners, and uh, last month he picked Samuel Niehaus. N-I-E-H-A-U-S. He said, I always love, I always check these videos at the beginning of each month. Thanks so much for doing that. That's winner number one. That bait's coming towards you, or that box is coming towards you, Samuel. Jose Lopez. I tried and tried to catch fish on jerk baits. Never caught anything, but hopefully will soon. Jose, I'm sending you one of these boxes also, and it's got a jerk bait in there right there that I know will catch them. And then last, Tyler Strader. January is going to be a great time of the year to go catch a big-eyed big and I might say that once or twice when I'm catching fish. Uh, thanks for sending in the comment. He said, love watching the, these, uh, these double E. So Tyler, uh, Jose, and Samuel, you guys go to my website, send me your address. That's all you got to do. Super simply, just go over to edwinevers.com, uh, send me your address, verify that it's you. Uh, I'll go through and verify it's you also. And I've got three of these boxes coming. You guys need to say a big thank you to Plano. They've come on as a sponsor of these videos. Now, just instead of just getting the bait, you guys get a box too. So these are really cool boxes, these edges. I love them. They're clear, you can see through them. That's probably one of the things that I love most about them. You just see right in the box what's in them. All right, let's get started. Top three baits. Um, you know, last month I had, I, I say that, so I, I wanna talk about this month, but last month I had a jerk bait I had a Ned rig and I had a Damiki rig in my top three baits. Those baits will still work the, the, the start of February, still work as, as the, the water you know, tran, transpires or warms going north in our, you know, in our country. So you know, don't ever disregard my videos from December and January when we go to talk about February uh, or maybe the next month's video, March, just depending on where you live in your country, you know, in, in, the, in the country. So, uh, that's always important to say. Um, so for this month, for the month of February, things are warming up, like we're turning the corner. There's fish, I mean, there's fish obviously spawning down in Florida. You know, fish are gonna start spawning in the very far southern parts of, of Texas and maybe down along the coast of Louisiana and Alabama. But, you know, by the end of February, heck, we could have fish spawning, you know, in, in Oklahoma and Arkansas, you know, on further up in our country. So, so think about that. It all depends on, on how this month goes. Sometimes, you know, last year we had a really, really bad cold spell, froze lakes all the way down in Texas, you know, that had never been frozen before, but it all depends on how this month goes. So far, you know, we're pretty much right on track. It'd been a really warm winter. The last few weeks across the country has gotten really cold, at least it has in this part of the world. You know, our water temperatures are 45 degrees here at the start of the month here in Oklahoma. So, but you know, these baits I've got picked here are as this stuff starts to warm up. You know, I wanna mention, I don't have a vibrating jig here. That's gonna be a bait towards the end of the month. It's gonna be important to have tied on, especially starting in March, depending on where you're at. You know, a spinner bait could be a really good bait. I don't have one of those here. Uh, be another bait, you know, as the water's warming, you know, think about a spinner bait. I've got, Let's just start with the very first one. I've got in here a flat-sided crankbait. This is the uh, Berkeley uh, Fritz Size 5 Biggin. Um, why I chose this bait is because it gets deeper. Man, I just did a video, if you guys wanna go back and check it out, fishing river channel bins, you know, shell beds. And I actually, during that day, I was up there fishing for a few hours, wasn't getting any bites. I ran back to my truck I wanted this bait because it was silent and it got deeper than just the regular five. It was, it's a, it's a quieter, more subtle bait than a square bill and that's why I like it. I actually went back to my truck, came back and the very first few casts with this bait, I caught fish in that video. You guys need to go back and check it out. Uh, but with all that said, that's the reasons why I choose it. it, it it's quieter, it's subtle. 
Um, if, you've, if you've got like a, a cold front that comes through in February like they always do, fish tend to get a little deeper, they get a little less aggressive, and that's when you want to throw a bait like this. And that's why I chose this five big one because it gets a little bit deeper. Um, um, you know, if you've got a, a good lipless crankbait bite going on down over the grass at Rayburn and, and that cold front comes through or you're fishing behind lots of boats, tie this thing on in behind them. This bait will shine. Same thing in Florida, same thing over in Seminole in Georgia, uh, you know, same thing over in Hartwell. It's a, it's a bait that, that I throw a lot in February, just a flat sided crankbait. I got three colors. I've got a chartreuse blue back for that really stained water. Um, I've got a bluegill color that can be really, really deadly in that clear water. And then red, guys. Just, that's my favorite color, red. Uh, I'm going to have that one tied on all, all water conditions, anywhere I go. Clear, muddy, that's going to be the number one one right there. Throw this thing on 10 and 12 pound test. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't throw it on a lot bigger line unless I'm trying to keep it up over grass most of the time. 80% of the time it's going to be on 12 pound test. Uh, another thing that's going to help your land ratio, be sure you've got that on a soft rod. You know, I don't, I don't ever have that on the most expensive rod I've got, the most sensitive rod. You want it on a cranking rod, and those are generally less expensive rods, more forgiving. Um, they, they've got more of a bend to them. They're, they're, you're not going to pull that bait away from them in that cold water. Also, put that on a slower gear ratio reel, the slowest one you got in your arsenal. Maybe a 5 to 1 or a 6 to 1 when that water's cold. Um, that's going to help slow it down. Throw it out there. Pause reel, pause reel, sweep the rod. Those are the trees I'm gonna use with that. That bait right there. So we're gonna put one in each one of these boxes and I am gonna mail one of you guys that leave me a comment, or three of you, or girls, leave me a comment. These baits are gonna come your way, hopefully if you get picked in this month's video. All right, the next one I've got here is, it's, it's, it's a Berkeley's version of a shad wrap and it's called a bad shad. What I love about the bad shad is, it's got a little bit more weight than a shad wrap. I can throw it further. Uh, it's, it's, it's a quiet bait or a real subtle bait. It'll get a little bit deeper. This thing's gonna dive like eight to 10 feet deep on 10 pound test. And this is gonna be a bait for those, those people in the, in the Midwestern part of our country, you know, a little further along that Mason-Dixon line, Lake of the Ozarks, Table Rock, Grand, uh, going on across the country, you know, Kentucky Lake, Hartwell, that section of the lake, you know, you go further much north, you got ice, right below the ice, I guess is what I'm saying, that water temperature in the upper 40s, low 50s, 10 pound test, it's when you throw this style of bait. You know, I've got a couple shad versions and I've got one crawdad version. Um, again, 10 pound test, slow gear ratio reel. Um, you know, I actually got a video coming out next week, um, breaking some lakes down and one of those lakes I broke down I won on this bait in February uh, during a snowstorm. Um, so I just, I know it works. This bait right here, the Bad Shad, it's coming uh, to one of you guys. You guys leave me the comment. We're gonna stick those in that box. Uh, I throw those shad colors. That's gonna be my main color. I, I, I will throw that crawdad color if I feel like, man, I start catching fish and I see a crawdad pincher's coming up. Um, that's when I throw that crawdad color or in a little bit uh, darker conditions like cloudier days that's when I throw that crawdad color that's a great great bait this time of year okay last man I got the magic I got the juice when you see these purple packages they're my favorite um, max scent creature hog guys this bait right here is gonna be a bait I've got one tied on right here I am going to fish a tournament I got a couple of them coming up this month I'm fixing to leave here uh, I've got this bait tied on right here I'm gonna be pitching this thing around docks around stumps around cypress trees around in grass you know it's it, it's for that southern half of our of our country that water's a little warmer those fish have moved up maybe it, uh, the water's dirtier that's when i'm going to throw this bait right here uh that, with that max scent you know i can let it sit it's going to disperse in the water i've got a lot of confidence in it guys it's just it, it is what it is but this is another bait that that man as february goes along those fish start moving up they start getting tight to cover you got a sunny day calm conditions you know they're not going to bite that crankbait that's when i get the flipping stick out i flip it in there let it sit let it sit you know then reel it out so these are going to be those baits that when you've got those tougher conditions those calm sunny days that they're not hitting the moving bait um, or maybe you can't get a moving bait into that location that's when i start picking this bait up right here i've got two different colors i got black blue fleck for that really dirty water cloudy conditions and green pumpkin that's all you need in my opinion you know 
That green pumpkin is obviously going to be that clean, clear water, sunny days. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to rig this thing. I'm going to actually, let's just rig a couple of them right quick. I'm going to throw each one of you guys in here a hook just so you'll have it. So I've got a Fusion 4 aught flipping straight shank hook right here. That's, that's the one I'm going to throw in it. Uh, if I got one of those out. The weight, if you ask what weight, man, that's a, that's a tough one. If, if you're trying to get a reaction bite sometimes, I'll go with a heavier weight uh, over a lighter weight just so it'll fall really fast so you can get a really quick reaction strike. But, you know, I'm just going to go in that bait, come right out. Not very far at all, you know. I don't know the distance, but I'm going to have my weight up here on the line, turn that around, and... Uh, get it right past that keeper. That keeper keeps it on there really, really good. Then I just go straight up through it. I want to keep that bait straight. See how straight that is? But my hook point's right there. I mean, it's like instant. It's ready to grab a hold of him. But that's the creature hog. That's a bait that I'm going to have tied on. I'm going to put one hook in each one of these packages. That's why that package is going to be open. But that's a Fusion 4 rod. That works perfect in that size. It's a Teflon coated hook. I like that fact. If I don't get a good hook set, if I'm out of position, uh, that Teflon coating really, you know, penetrates the, the mouth really, really quick and it's got a great, great keeper on it. So there it is, guys, the top three baits that I, that I think will help you in February. It's not the only three by any means. You know, we, we talked about spinnerbait, we talked about a vibrating jig, a jerk bait. You know, we talked about those in January. It's still going to be a great bait in February, depending on where you live. With that said, be sure you comment. I can't mail you this Plano Edge box, you know, the 1st of March when we do this all over again. If you haven't left a comment right here, super simple, just leave one. I've read those comments at the beginning for those three winners from the January video. Super simple, guys. Just leave a comment. That's all I ask you to do. Uh, I do ask you to send me a picture of hopefully you catching your personal best. You know, the month of February is a time of year that big fish are caught. You may not get a lot of bites when you go but it's definitely the time of year you can catch the biggest bass of your life. And I hope this February you guys do it, and maybe you'll do it, you know, some of these suggestions that I gave you. Send me a picture if you do. I want to see a picture over on my social media, Instagram or Facebook. I'd love to uh, comment back to you personally if you do get that personal best. So with that said, guys, I want to wish you good luck. Tune in next week. We'll be doing it all over again.